Hello again. Uh, you know that the first step of financial planning is sales forecast. In our statement of uh, profit or loss, we have the total revenue, okay, sales revenue for the year um, 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2015. Now, if we want to forecast the sales of 2016, we will try to use a very simple method um, based on the growth rates that has been observed in the past three years okay so our first step will be to calculate the growth rate of uh, sales in year 13 2013 in year 2014 and in year 2015 then we will try to calculate the average growth rate that has been observed in past three years and we will make an assumption that uh, the average of the last three years growth rate will be the growth rate in the upcoming year growth rate of sales in the upcoming year okay so let's let's start the process of estimating the forecasted sales at first I'm going to copy the worksheet so click the worksheet and then um, click move or copy make sure that you check create a copy and then click move to end okay I am going to rename this worksheet uh, as SF okay indicating that it is the worksheet for sales forecast for forecasting the sales we do not need other items so I'm going to delete all the rows that contain other items of the income statement now let me write growth rate growth rate of sales we cannot calculate the growth rate of uh, the year 2012 because we do not know how much was the uh, total revenue in uh, 2011 so we start from year 13 2013 okay as you know the growth rate will be equal to the sales revenue in 2013 minus the sales revenue in the previous year that means 2012 bracket close divided by the sales revenue in the previous year enter you can see uh, the cell shows um, the amount zero because the cell format is actually currency so what we are going to do we are going to convert it to percentage style now you can see we have six percent okay uh, i would um, prefer you to make it two digit after decimal okay so you can see uh, the growth rate is 6.49 percent in year 2013 now what you have you can you can of course calculate it separately for 2014 2015 but the easiest way is to copy the you know copy the formula in the cell so uh, i will drag the formula drag and copy to the adjacent cells and you can see the growth rate is uh, you know 6.49% in 2013 but it is 2.23 in uh, 2014 and it is minus 5.31% uh, in 2015. You can also check the formula bar to see if the formula is okay. Let us check uh, uh, the growth rate of 2015. You can see it is C7 minus D7 so C7 is this one minus d7 over d7 okay it is perfectly okay now let us calculate the average growth rate of the last three years so we can use the average function average of these three We can see that the average growth rate is 1.14%. Let me 
make it centered okay and because this is our um, this is our forecasted growth rate okay let me highlight it by making it dark red and bold okay now our forecasted growth rate of uh, our forecasted growth rate is 1.14 percent therefore uh, we can easily for easily calculate the forecasted sales revenue uh, forecasted total revenue in the year 2016 in 2016 is equals 2015 cells times 1 plus the forecasted growth rate so let us copy the let us copy the format uh, of the 2015 revenue and then apply it here so you can see our forecasted sales revenue in 2016 is 11092533356 thank you very much